Good morning, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us here for this quick briefing and what we expect for some severe weather here later on this afternoon and especially into tonight. We'll get right to our graphics now so you can see what we're talking about here across eastern Iowa. Round one has already come through the region. Some scattered storms this morning had a risk of some hail with some of this. This did wind up hitting the Cedar Rapids area as well. Round two, that's the one we're more concerned about, I think. The severe weather that really starts to move in and increases greatly by the time we get to the evening hours. The great part about this, it's Currently 10 17s. So I'll be with you here for about the next 10 minutes or so, and then we'll start prepping for the TV9 news at midday. A couple different things going on here that you can see. First off, we still have this cluster of thunderstorms out towards Clinton that's moving away from us and off towards the east. And then farther on down to the south, you'll see that we've got some thinning cloud cover going on down in here. That's really important because the way this whole system is evolving here, there's a warm front down in here, and this continues to lift its way up towards the north towards us. As that happens, we're we're going to get all those different ingredients in place for severe weather later on for today. And it's one of those cases, as you'll see on Pinpoint Futurecast, where this could go very quickly later this afternoon and into this evening. It goes from actually a rather nice afternoon to one that's stormy here during the early evening hours. So the storm ingredients we look for when it comes to severe weather, wind shear is one of them, changing the wind speeds with height in the atmosphere is what that is. In terms of lift, that's a front or anything that can lift the air up and start to condense it. That's what we see. In stability. We're going to have that this afternoon. And then is there moisture for this to work with? There is some moisture for this to work with. The severe weather threats that we've got coming our way, generally large hail and tornadic threats. High wind threat is there. Heavy rain threat is also there. So here is our severe weather potential here for this evening. So again, the first round has already come through the region. This comes in here later this afternoon and into tonight. It's very large hail and tornadoes. Those are the two big factors that we're keeping our eyes on. Damaging wind, yes, that's in there too, but it's large hail and tornadic situation that we're looking at for today. So this is what we have on Pinpoint Futurecast, and you'll notice here that this is actually doing a pretty decent job depicting where this batch of rainfall is right now, especially when compared to the current satellite and radar. It's generally in this vicinity. We don't expect modeling to be perfect, but it's got the general gist of what's going on. This moves its way off towards the east. Look at the clearing that's coming in from the south here this afternoon and into the early evening hours. See this clearing going on? This is really important to the severe weather risk here for today. So when you see clearing like that, temperatures are going to take off. Do you see the winds as well when they come straight from the south like that and then they're turning more from the southeast and then eventually towards the east? That is some directional wind shear already going on here. So when that happens, things get very unstable. I've paused it at 6 o'clock here this evening for some rapidly developing storm cells. Very large hail and tornadoes are a possibility. And it could be one of those cases where you get home from school, you get home from work, and all of a sudden you're like, man, it's really nice. Like, I don't think anything's going to happen. Well, watch what happens in about an hour or two's time. How quickly that frontal boundary becomes active. Can you see where the winds are coming here? South and then eventually turn to the east. You can see right along this front is where it wants to develop this stuff. And so you've got an east-northeast wind going on up in here. You've got a south wind going on up in here. And so you've got overall just a tremendous amount of rotation for any storm to work with during this time period. And that's just from 6 to 7. And then from 7 to 8, it becomes even more numerous. And there's so many ingredients going for this event here. There may be some very large hail and some tornadoes involved within all this. This event then works its way off towards the north and east and away from us late tonight. And then during the overnight, the actual surface cold front itself works across eastern Iowa. And that could also bring us a chance for some additional thunderstorms in the area. So what you did on Friday, you're probably going to want to do this again here for today. The timing will be a little bit different. It won't be quite into the late afternoon. It may be more so in the evening this time. But making sure that you're into a safe place, and it's the lowest level in an interior room, making sure that you're covered in blankets and pillows and staying there until that threat has passed. Make sure you're getting continual information as well, and you've got multiple ways to get your warnings too. So again, the main timing on this is happening here late afternoon and into the early evening hours. We're now coming up close to 1020 here, a little after 1020. So I'll be with you about five more minutes here. This is meteorologist Kai O'Mara with you. We've backfilled the rest of our weather staff today. So I am solo through about 1230. 
The rest of our weather team will be with us here for you tonight as the main threat moves through. But this is what we have going on right now. This has all happened here this morning. Now we're seeing the clearing in a huge break, so much so that we probably won't have much precipitation again until it suddenly explodes in our area along this front by the time we get to the early evening hours. The storm ingredients, we're going to have plenty of wind shear. A lot of that going on. We'll have some lift in the atmosphere as low pressure is nearby and that front is nearby. We do expect the dew points to start to increase as well. And this is one additional graphic I'll show you. Normally we wouldn't uh, do much of this with a YouTube live because we tend to keep it in our market area. But look at what the dew points are doing down here. This is a big time difference from four hours ago. Look at how close some of those 60s dew points are now to eastern Iowa. They're right close to the state line and they were down near Springfield earlier this morning. So that moisture is being transported towards the north and into our region. So the instability will be there. It's not there right now, but it will be there later on today, especially with that frontal boundary in the area. So this is one of those situations we just need to respect it, I think, because it's capable of producing some pretty violent weather later on today. Day. One more quick check of pinpoint future cast. Again, we've got our news at midday coming up at 11 o'clock. There is a chance that ABC will break in with a special report, so we do want to at least give you as much information about the current weather situation as we can in the event that our news at midday is indeed affected by that special report. This is pinpoint future cast going forward. There go the storms this morning, and then there's that huge lull in the activity. Generally, there's nothing going on between noon and 6 p.m. Don't let your guard down. That doesn't mean it's going to be a pleasant evening because watch what happens. I'm going to circle this area right here. This particular cell, this is really kind of interesting between Cedar Rapids, Dubuque, Manchester. Watch what happens over that hour span. Boom, it just explodes right there. So there's plenty of ingredients to go with this rapid development here this early evening. Very large hail and tornadoes are a possibility with any of that activity that pushes by the region. We'll deal with that during the early to mid evening hours, then late tonight, the final push comes through with a very strong cold front that'll kick up those winds right behind it. So there is a potential for some late night severe weather, but my overall gut feeling is that for the most part, the worst of this weather is probably going to happen between about six o'clock this evening and 11 o'clock this evening. And so if we were to get into a warning situation, particularly a tornado warning situation, make sure you get yourself to the lowest level interior room, center of the floor, cover yourself with blankets and pillows and stay there until this threat has passed. These storms won't be moving quite as fast as what they were here this past Friday but they're still going to be moving along at a pretty fair clip and it is important to understand when those warnings are issued and definitely heeding those warnings when they do come out here in our particular area. So again, a recap, we expect generally quiet conditions now through about five o'clock or so. And then after that, things are going to start getting much more active, unfortunately, here across eastern Iowa. And we do want you to be aware of that here as we do work our way forward and continue to monitor things here in the TV9 Weather Lab here for myself, which is just me here through about 12 30. The rest of the first alert storm team will be in later on today. Meteorologist Joe Winters, Jan Ryher, and Hannah Messier will be in for this event as well. And then we'll hand off everything in about midnight again going into tomorrow morning to get things all wrapped up. But again, stay safe out there. Things could change very quickly later on today. Thanks so much for joining us here for this update. The TV9 News at Midday starts at 11. And be sure and stay tuned to the latest newscast this afternoon and tonight, 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks so much for joining us. Stay safe.